So a couple of months ago we um, did a video on the old Sun 3160 that I found lying around in the department and trying to get it to work. And we sort of left it to the point where it was making an awful racket. Now we worked out that the noise was actually coming from the old hard disks, which sound more like sanding devices rather than actually uh, hard to say. Well, so I suspect they're shot, so we took them out. And if we turn it on now, it's still noisy, but it's, a, it's got a less of a sort of angle grinder effect to it. And we've actually now got it to the point where, short of installing the operating system, it's still booting. What we've done is running in it now one of these, which is a SCSI emulator, which uses a micro SD card to act as the hard disk. So I've set that up to actually act as a hard disk. Interestingly, the way I've set that up is I use an emulator on the Mac to emulate the hardware and install the first part of the operating system on that. So that's sort of working now. And I can get it as far as booting and get it to boot into the preliminary stages and even get it able to ping out onto the local network, which of course is connected to the internet. So it's actually on the internet. So we're just booting it up using the Falcon as the terminal emulator. And in a second, hopefully it will ask me to enter the menus and I should be able to get it going. So I'm now into the boot menus. I'm going to come out of these and return to the monitor. And I'm now going to boot it off the SCSI emulator. So boot SD 0, 1, 0. So it's starting to boot, I think. Oops, no. So it's actually now trying to do a network boot, which is not what we want to do. If you remember the right boot command, we can actually get it to boot, and you'll see it's now booting into SCSI Disk 1, which is what's being emulated. Communications have changed. It's now moved from one serial protocol to another, so I just have to change the settings for the port. To 7 bits rather than 8 bits. And I'm now at the installer prompt I haven't installed the whole operating system yet, but the machine's booting, so it's just a matter now of installing everything and it would work. And if we look, the uh, internet connection is up. So we can actually set this with a actual IP address. So we can say we want ifconfig IE0 to be up and we'll be dot twenty-three dot five netmask. Set that up and it's not picking anything up. So obviously I need to plug the other end of the network cable in. Helps if you plug your internet connection in. So we're now going to plug the internet connection in under the floor. Uh, we'll pull that one out. Oops, that was the uh, cloud. Do you want to check this lights flashing on the uh, little box? Yeah. So we've actually got a little converter box here, which is converting the 10 base T coming out of that into the AUI connector for the sun. And we've got a link and we've got power and so on. So hopefully I should be able to bring that up. And we've got power and so on. If config IE0 has got an IP address now, so hopefully I should be able to ping the router. Got no ping installed. Telnet. Do I have any IP stuff? What do I have? Is a, this is a very minimal installation so far. We normally install the whole thing, so I don't even know if I've got anything I can use to test the internet connection. Not much there. TFTP, perhaps? Nope. No. But if I do go to another machine, assuming this isn't the one I unplugged. <laughs> um, I should be able to ping 
that IP address. No, I can't. Maybe this is the machine I unplugged. It worked the other day, anyway. So that's now up and running. Nothing getting there. We just killed it. It's almost like the adapter has died. No joy. So no joy there. Um, it seems actually that the converter seems to have, all the lights have gone off on it. So um, not quite sure what's happening there. We'll keep uh, restore, restoration and keep you posted. <laughs> I think the next step will be to try this on another device, see if we can get this working, and then see whether it's a fault with this or whether it's a fault with the actual the power going to it. But it doesn't seem to work in either network card. So um, I suspect something wrong with this. It is encrypted once with K3. It's encrypted another time with K2. And then it's encrypted a final time with K1. Now, let's think about what that means. Um, it means that only this... It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it.